क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 2f 80 डॉलर इज डिवाइडेड बिटवीन एथेंस एंड माइकल सच दैट 1 क्वार्टर ऑफ एथेंस शेयर इज इक्वल टू 1 6th ऑफ माइकल शेयर हाउ मच डज ईच ऑफ देयर ऑफ देम रिसीव ओके नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज वी नो दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट शेयर ऑफ each person Ethan or and Michael so let share of Ethan be X and share of Michael be Y now as we can read from our question that Ethan's share and Michael share combines to form $80 what does that mean? We can write it that x plus y is equals to 80. Simple. So, this is one equation that we have got from the question. Now, second condition that Ethan's and Michael, uh, $80 is divided between Ethan and Michael such that one quarter of Ethan's share one quarter of Ethan's share is equal to one sixth of Michael's share. So, this is also simple that one quarter of Ethan's share, Ethan's share means x, is equal to one sixth of Michael's share and Michael's share is y. Now this is the second equation but it's in a fraction form. So I'm going to change this fraction form into a regular form and then we will solve these two equations simultaneously. So equation B implies that one for x is equal to one upon six y cross multiplying six x is equal to four y and I'm going to keep all the variable on one side of this equals to so 6x this 4y will come on the other side becomes minus 4y and nothing is left here so means is equals to 0 now this is our equation c and we are going to treat equation c and a solve them simultaneously and get the value of x and y which is going to be the shear So I'm writing down these two equations together and let's see 6x minus 4y is equals to 0 and x plus y is equals to 80 okay so now uh, if I have decided okay I have decided to eliminate y variable so for y a variable we need same coefficient how can we get the same coefficient by multiplying equation a by 4 okay so a implies that okay i'm going to write the steps over here multiply equation a with 4 we will get a is equals to 4x plus 4y is equals to 3 to 0 320 now i'm cop going to copy equation c as it is c implies that 6x minus 4y is equals to 
0. So plus 4y minus 4y cancel. All we have over here plus 4x plus 6, 4x makes 10x is equals to 3, 2, 0, 3, 20, 0 and 0 cancel. So the value of x is 332. Okay. Now since I've got the value of third x is 32 I have to put this value put x in equation a okay and equation a is this one x plus y is equals to 80 so the x is 32 32 plus y is equals to 80 and the value of y is equals to 80 minus 32 will be 48 okay so the value of y is 48 now at michael athens share is 32 dollar and michael's share is 48 dollar question number 17 exercise 2f from intermediate level Rufang deposited deposited a total of twenty five thousand dollars in Bank A and Bank B at the beginning of the year two thousand and thirteen. Bank A and Bank B pay simple interest of point six percent and point seven percent per annum. He withdrew all his money from the two bank at the end of the year. If the amount of interest he earned from each bank is same, find the amount of money he deposited in each bank. So, it is quite clear that what we have to find out is the amount that he deposited in the starting of the year so let amount for bank a is x b x and amount for bank b is y okay. now as we all know that the amount that he deposited the total of the amount the total amount that he deposited in the bank a and bank b was 25000 so we can write that the total amount which is x plus y is equals to 25,000. This is one equation that we have got from our question. Now second condition, bank A and bank B pays simple interest of 0.6% and point. 65% per annum. So when he withdraws all his money from the bank at the end of the year, the amount of interest he earned from each bank is same. That means that after one year, the interest that he have got, amount that he has deposited, or we can say that the amount that he received after withdrawing his money was same both from bank A and bank b the amount was same that if the amount after interest he received was uh, two thousand dollars from bank a similarly he received the amount same amount from the bank b that is two thousand dollars so the amount that he received from bo both the banks will be same so what can we say at this point that the amount that after one year after one year, amount with interest rate, the amount with interest rate will be from bank A, it will be 0.6 of x, 0.6% of x, and the amount 
after one year you receive from bank B will be 0.65% Y. All right. And according to the given condition that these two amount must be equal. See, if the amount of the interest he earned from each bank is same. So, I can write 0.6% percent of x is equals to 0.65 percent of y and we all know that 0.6 percent means 0.6 divided by 100 x and 0.65 percent means 0.65 divided by 100 into y. So this is the second second equation that we are going to further solve with equation A. Going to change equation B into a regular form. So the answer will be 0, sorry, 6 divided by 1000 x is equals to 65 divided by 10,000 y. Now we all know that we can cancel these zeros, okay, 10 cross multiply and becomes 60 x is equals to 65 y and this 60 x minus 65 y is equals to 0. So this is equation C. I'm going to write equation A and equation C together. So these are our two final simultaneous equations. In order to eliminate x, I am going to multiply equation A with 60. So multiply A with 60, we get 60x plus 60y is equals to 1500,000 and another equation copy as it is. In order to eliminate x, we will have to subtract equation A from equation C. Sorry, this is C, equation C. Okay, so equation C from equation A. So I'm going to change the signs. So plus, minus. I have made one mistake. I have copied the sign wrong here. It's actually minus, as we can see here, and it's minus again here, minus, so this is going to be plus, and this is minus. Now, 60 plus 65y is going to be 125y and 1500,000, okay? Now, after division, the value of y is? 12,000. So I'm going to put this value of y in equation A to get the value of x. Put y in equation A. We will get A implies that x plus 12,000 is equals to 25,000 and the value of x will be 25,000 minus uh, 12,000 will be 13,000. So these are the two amounts that he deposited in bank A. He deposited 13k and 
then B he deposited 12k dollars. Thank you for watching.